The views expressed on the Jerry Cahill CF podcast are that of Jerry Cahill and guests, and not necessarily those of the Boomer Esiason Foundation. Nothing on the Jerry Cahill CF podcast should be considered medical advice. Such advice can only be given by a physician who is experienced with cystic fibrosis. The Boomer Esiason Foundation, Jerry Cahill and guests cannot be held responsible for any damage which may result from using the information on this podcast without the permission of your medical doctor. You're listening to the Jerry Cahill CF Podcast, presented by the Boomer Esiason Foundation and jerrycahill.com. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Boomer Esiason Foundation's Living, Breathe, and Succeeding Patient Family Educational Podcast Series. Today, we'll meet Dwight Chu, the CEO of Zephrex in Troy, New York, and talk about spirometry, home-based respiratory diagnostic testing and therapy so that patients can actively manage and improve their own lung health through telehealth, video games, and virtual reality. I'm Dwight Chu, and I'm a startup guy. This is my eighth startup. I've worked through all sorts of industries, from mapping to video games to music to legal to e-commerce, and uh, now I'm uh, running and leading a a healthcare IT company. Zephyrex came out of our musical instrument, the jam box, and that we built to help disabled folks uh, play music through breath. That can become a guitar, a saxophone, a piano, whatever instrument you want. And it was a fantastic introduction to how breathing can be combined with fun. And that spawned a NIH grant that allowed us to build video games for breathing exercises. And in turn, as COVID hit, we pivoted a little bit and added diagnostics so that we could do a pulmonary function test with the same device and same mobile application. Our solution is a combination of a handheld Bluetooth spirometer and a application that you run on your cell phone or tablet. It really gives the patient independence. They are able to proactively take advantage of these devices and really manage their own health care. So the one thing is independence. The second thing is it gives them the ability to get a full pulmonary function test um, at home and therefore um, reduces their exposure. So we imagine going forward, rather than let's say seeing your doctor four times a year, maybe you only see your doctor once a year, but you can actually do the other tests at home. We know that some of our patients have to travel two or three hours or more to get to their clinic. And with this, they can avoid all that travel and cost and expense. As soon as a patient takes a pulmonary function test, those results are automatically transmitted to our servers, which in turn display that by a web browser to the physician. So your pulmonologist can see results instantaneously as they are taken and they will be able to see a full trend of all the PFTs that you take over time, which is a great way to get a sense of how you're doing over time. We also find that patients really love the fact that it's their own device. Um, They get to keep it, no one else uses it. It's very easy to clean. In fact, you can actually disassemble it and clean the important parts um, and sterilize those important parts as often as you want. So it's a phenomenal device and a personal device, it's yours, which is a great, great advantage. This device is, can be incredibly useful for someone after a lung transplant. Um, as you know, um, you're at risk for rejection and you want to monitor that very closely, especially in the first few weeks or months after that transplant. So with our device, you can do a pulmonary function test every single day. In addition, the accuracy of this device is amazing. It's uh, within all the specifications from the uh, FDA and it can go head to head against any other spirometer in, let's say, a doctor's office. So fantastic uh, portability, ease of use, and accuracy. When you go to a pulmonologist's office, oftentimes you have a respiratory therapist there who can coach you through the maneuver. We actually do something very similar. We uh, enable through our application a video call between the respiratory therapist and the patient. So that same degree of interaction between your respiratory therapist during a pulmonary function test can be achieved. And we find that's fantastic to get a better, more accurate test where sometimes people may, may not be familiar with a pulmonary function test and having a 
online respiratory therapists can be really valuable. Later this year, we're going to be bringing out a combined device that does both lung function and oxygen saturation levels. So you can see here there's an indentation where you would put your thumb, and with that we can measure um, how well your lungs are feeding oxygen into your bloodstream. And that, of course, is a very important um, factor in determining how well your lungs are working. We've shipped over 25,000 of these units this year. And what we have found is that people principally are getting them for pulmonary function tests. But then they find out that we have video games to help them do breathing exercises. And we have video games for all ages. We have um, a Angry Birds look alike, we have golf, we have fishing, we have slot machines, we have a, a racing game. So it's not only just for kids, it's for adults as well. And we're, we're noticing, even though they have been prescribed to do pulmonary function tests, they're actually also doing those same breathing exercises, which also can be tracked and shown to the pulmonologist. I got a call from a mother who said that she was in the parking lot of her kid's school um, waiting for uh, waiting for the kids to be released, and she did a pulmonary function test. It's so convenient and easy that um, it's uh, no longer a chore. And as a result, we're getting really strong adoption. One of the great things I think that home spirometry brings to cystic fibrosis patients or lung transplant patients or any other person with a respiratory condition is that they get to manage their own health. They can understand their results. They can take a proactive stance on it. And by learning about their own lung health, they can do a better job of keeping themselves healthy. I think the future for people with cystic fibrosis and post-double lung transplant is very, very positive. The advancement in, in medications and in science and technology is phenomenal. And we're just one piece of that. Um, we, we believe that we can help you gain more independence, not have to go to the clinic every day if you're a lung transplant patient or every quarter if you're a cystic fibrosis patient. We give you that independence and you're able to track your own health and that same tracking is shared with your pulmonologist um, instantaneously, so it's a fantastic combination for everybody. We hope you enjoyed the CF podcast. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell on the Boomer Science and Foundations YouTube channel so we can keep you up to date on our latest educational programs for the cystic fibrosis community.